making a tote that's going to be covered with leopard print and I'm going to show you a technique for painting leopard print. I've got a bit of leather that is 10, 20, 30, 40 by 40, so 40 centimetres by 40 centimetres. And I've got a, a sandy a colour paint and a brown paint and a white paint that I'm going to mix together to make a light brown. And I'm going to start by putting about 30 or 40 spots on the leather. So I've smudged my paint, but there's about 30 spots there. And I'm now going to put on um, about 10 open circles, so um, C's, using a flat brush. This brush is about one centimetre and it's flat and it's neat and tidy. Um, I've mixed some brown and black paint to give me a, a darker brown. And I am just going to paint the C's on. Okay, so it looks like that. It's not great, but um, we will touch up when the paint dries a bit. Now I'm going to put about six fully closed circles on. So I'm now doing more open shapes. So around the remaining light brown dots, I'm going to do a series of like different kidney bean shapes. So now we've got like a consistent pattern over this big bit of leather, it's time to fill in the gaps. So using a combination of the shapes that we've got already and some more little spots and kind of shaping them like seeds or like coffee beans, we're really going to put a lot of dark brown all over the top of this leather. So I finished filling out the gaps and that's the finished bit of leather and I'm going to turn that into a tote. There's another two ways that you can, that I do leopard prints, they're slightly easier than this and I will um, make a clutch bag and show you those two methods. 